Hello, this is Allegedly Nerdy, and it's time for the third weekly hobby roundup. Not much actual progress to show you this week, unfortunately, because most of my progress didn't really happen. I didn't get as much done as I'd like. I, uh, right now I have all my steel legion and stripping solution because I'm changing the scheme to this, which is sort of a 1980s Soviet inspired theme. Um, inspired to do that because there's a company called Blackguard, which sell upgrade kits for the Chimera, so you can get all the Chimera variants. It's sort of a 1980s Soviet theme. You can get the, uh, you know, you can have your standard Chimera, you can do a BMP, yeah, uh, and that's like the most direct equivalent, but like everything looks very Soviet. You know, you have, your know, Hydra looks rather similar to, it doesn't look exactly the same as like the Shoka, because it's more of the Hydra style with the outboard guns instead of the center mounted guns, but that's interesting. Anyways, uh, the, all of them are in a stripping solution right now. Uh, this guy painted, um, the fatigues are olive green with, um, buff for the camo spots. Uh, helmets is technically dark green, but something went funky there. I stripped this one with acetone while I'm using greased lightning. Um, stripped the rest of them. Uh, all the, so pouches and belt stuff that's all doom ball brown uh, the boots the gloves and the gas mask are nato black which no oh no it's nato uh, but you know it's the, it's the space soviets it's different um, now that's pretty much all I've gone done I went to an 8th edition tournament that was lots of fun uh, went up against Tyranids, Crimson Fists, and uh, Chaos Space Greens, and that was just, that's all corn, and a Helldrake, which I guess, eh, whatever. Um, <clears throat> Tyranids, I can see why people, I don't see why people are complaining about Imperial Guard being overpowered, because Tyranids, Table me turn two, everyone else. Um, the fight continued until the end of the round. Uh, so, you know, they're a little bit. I won't say they're overpowered, but they're definitely a tough army. Um, Corn Berserkers are really powerful with the. Um, doing fight phase twice while doing the being able to attack twice in fight phase not getting to, you know what I mean if you've played against corn berserkers or you play corn berserkers they're powerful I will say conscripts are really powerful which is why I'm I'm hoping to sort of go for more of a I'm going to see if like a veteran a full veteran army is still viable you know try to go back to fourth and fifth edition Maltovet style stuff. I think now that heavy weapons, you just get a minus one ballistic skill instead of snap firing. Um, heavy weapons in Chimeras um, are viable. So I'm going to try some of that out. But that's pretty much it. I might add a video to the end of this video showing me uh, opening up the stripping solution. So, if that's added, stay tuned for that. If not, it's good seeing you guys. This has been Allegedly Nerdy. I'll talk to you next week. I'm back outside. Wearing a respirator because I don't know how the gas is built up in there. Might be a little bit nasty. So, I'm going to... Open it up.
Yeah, it looks like it did its job. Take an old toothbrush and some warm water. Should be able to get the rest off. Well, thank you for joining me for this addendum to the uh, to the video, and I will see you next week.